Hey guys, welcome back to New Society Trees because comics, movies, games, and more, and here to milk more of that Spider-Man No Way Home cow. So, Spider-Man No Way Home has been trending so much lately because people desperately want to see this freaking trailer, and I'm going to keep talking about it, and I don't care if you're tired of it, because I'm going to keep talking about it, and a lot of people seem to be very interested in Spider-Man No Way Home, I myself included, I mean... Like the first two movies aren't the greatest, but with this whole Spider-Verse thing, everybody is so interested and it seems like Sony has confirmed a Spider-Verse. So I'm going to go ahead and dive deep into this and answer some questions that people may have about this whole Spider-Man No Way Home Spider-Verse theory. But before we get into that, I want you guys to go ahead and like, comment and subscribe. Be sure to click on that bell notification so you don't miss anything. I post videos on a daily, and I do live streams about twice a week, Tuesdays and Sundays, 8.30 to 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So go ahead and be sure to do all that, folks, guys, so you can stay up to date with the latest in comic book news, Spider-Man news as well, because apparently my channel is an un unofficial Spider-Man channel, and you guys seem to be interested in the Spidey videos that I do, so I'm really grateful for that, guys. Thank you so much for engaging and just watching my videos and liking. You know, you guys are the best. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this article. So this article from MovieWeb.com states Spider-Man will meet Venom. Eventually, Sony confirms plans is in place after No Way Home. So Sony boss Sanford Panich says that there's a plan at the studio for Spider-Man to eventually meet Venom. Teasing more will be apparent after No Way Home is released. So Spider-Man has yet to web sling his way into the Sony Pictures universe of Marvel characters, or the SPUMC. But there is a plan in place at the company to one day make it happen apparently and after realizing many spider-man movies in the past sony has since let marvel studios handle the newest incarnation of the characters by bringing him into the mcu so meanwhile sony launched their own separate cinematic universe in 2018 with venom which will be further expanded with multiple upcoming movies but because there wasn't so much of a mention of spider-man in venom it's been unclear if and when Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock will ever meet Peter Parker. Now, I just want to take a moment and pause there for a second before I continue with this article. It's been confirmed that apparently Tom Hardy's Venom, Eddie Brock, and other characters like Cletus Cassidy and Carnage aren't aware of the existence of Spider-Man, which is why Spider-Man is not even mentioned whatsoever. And before the first Venom movie came out, I wasn't exactly sure it was going to be pulled off. It wasn't going to work because... Venom comes from Spider-Man, and it's basically the offspring of Spider-Man. And without Ven without Spider-Man, you cannot do a proper Venom movie. So I was pretty much kind of wrong, and I'm glad that this Venom movie worked because this incarnation of Venom that we got on the silver screen is actually really decent. And I'm actually kind of looking forward to the sequel, and I can't wait, especially since this will be first, you know, Carnage's first appearance in the silver screen. So I'm pretty excited for that. Anyways, moving on with the article. There's apparently no rush at Sony to bring Spidey into the SPUMC anytime soon either. In a new interview with Variety, Sony Motion Picture Group president Sanford Panich revealed that the studio is so busy with other characters from the Marvel library right now that they haven't really needed Spider-Man. Still, as seen in an interview, he adds that Spidey meeting Venom would be exciting. So, we don't really think of our 900 characters as the Spideyverse. We have a Marvel Universe. The volume of the characters we have. You know, wait until you see the next Venom. You don't miss Spider-Man. But it'll be exciting if they do meet, right? So that last sentence in the end. It'll be exciting if they do meet, right? That means that obviously something's in the works. They already have plans, as they stated in this article, as Sanford actually pitched. You know, that they do have something planned. And that little question at the end, you know, is pretty much a tease. And you don't miss Spider-Man, not in the sense like, you know, you'll see him there, but you have to catch it in order for you not to miss him. Meaning that you're not going to miss him at all once you see Venom, Let There Be Carnage. So, as I mentioned a little earlier in the video, you don't really need him. You know, Spider-Man is not in the film and Venom apparently can be done without the need of Spidey making an appearance. So, after all, the first Venom movie is a decent film, not the best. But it is a decent one, and we'll see how the sequel goes, because apparently the sequel is due to be rated R. And I'm pretty excited for that, and so are the rest of the fans, because Venom is an R-rated property, and it should be an R-rated property, honestly, because he's very violent and aggressive, and he's just big and bad. 
But anyways, moving on, Panage goes on to clarify that there is in fact a plan at Sony to bring Spidey into the SPU MC eventually. And I think Kevin Feige mentioned earlier uh, somewhere that Spider-Man is going to be one, if not the only character to be able to cross over to multiple universes, which is why Sony plans on having Spider-Man making an appearance in these uh, SPUMC movies, as Sony likes to call it. And no other details were offered, but Panish teases that the possibilities will be more clear once people see what surprises Marvel Studios has in store for fans with Spider-Man No Way Home, which will include characters from Sony's previous Spider-Man movies. He also notes his positive relationship with Marvel boss Kevin Feige. There's actually is a plan. I, I think now maybe it's getting a little bit more clear for people where we're headed. And I think when No Way Home comes out, even more will be revealed. The great thing is that we have this very excellent relationship with Kevin. There's an incredible sandbox there to play with. We want those MCU movies to be absolutely huge because that's great for us and our Marvel characters. And I think that's the same thing on their side, but we have a great relationship. So there's lots of opportunities, I think, that are going to happen. There are many ways to interpret his comments, but one possibility that Panage could be alluding to here is Tom Holland's MCU Spidey also serving as the SPU MC Spider-Man. Spider-Man No Way Home will include Alfred Molina's Doc Ock from Spider-Man 2 and Jamie Foxx's Electro from The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Again, this is like the worst kept secret in Hollywood. Everybody knows this. You can all think Alfred Molina and Jamie Foxx are spoiling it. So it's not really that much of a secret. And we're at least, or at least I am more than like about 90% sure that Sony is alluding to the Spider-Verse. And this is going to be the first Spider-Verse or introduction to the Spider-Verse in a live action setting. So this could just easily open the door for Holland Spider-Man to slip into the SPU MC to face Venom. So Venom Let There Be Carnage will be the first to expand the SPU MC when it's released on September 24th, 2021. This will be followed by Morbius in 2022 and Craven the Hunter in 2023, with the latter just recently naming Aaron Taylor Johnson as the Marvel antagonist. Perhaps, as Panage says, we'll have a better idea as to when Spider-Man will be coming in after Spider-Man No Way Home is released on December 17th, 2021. This news comes to us from Variety. So there you have it, folks. Obviously, Sony is alluding to something. Sony definitely wants to make the Spider-Verse happen. It, they want to make it a re reality, and I think we all want this to happen as well. We're just craving it at this point that we really want this to be real. And I don't think we can ever get like more excited than this time right now because it is the worst kept secret in Hollywood after all. A lot of people have found out, you know, stuff about this film through leaks and obviously confirmation from actors that are returning for the roles that they had back in like 2004, 2014, like Jamie Foxx in 2014 and the Macy Spider-Man 2 and of course Alfred Molina in Spider-Man 2 in 2004 so it, everything all that has been confirmed and now it's only a matter of time that we actually get that trailer with actual confirmation so we really want to see this trailer really badly guys you let me know your thoughts what are your thoughts about all these news about like the beans being spilled by this sony representative who spoke about spider-man no way home obviously his words are clearly being interpreted in some way you let me know your thoughts is the spider-verse going to come to fruition Comment down below. Tell me what you'd like to see. Obviously, we want to see Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield uh, show up in these movies in some capacity, even if it's a small appearance. Maybe they're going to have a significant role in the film. That's just my theory. Anyways, comment down below, guys. Let's get the conversation going. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you all don't miss anything. As always, I will see you all in the next comic panel.